can you project the atom on this wall? Oh yes, here you go. We all know that everything around us is made up of tiny particles known as atoms. In the center of an atom, there is a nucleus. In nucleus, there are protons and neutrons. Protons are positively charged whereas neutrons don't have any charge. Also, there are negatively charged electrons in an atom. These keep moving around the nucleus. Wow, Jimmy, you know so much about atoms. Also, let me tell you positive charge is shown by plus sign and negative charge is shown by minus sign. The charge of one proton is equal in strength to the charge of one electron. When the numbers of protons in an atom equals the number of electrons, the atom itself has no overall charge. It is neutral. So positive charge of proton and negative charge of electron cancel each other? Yes. Now look closely. Protons and neutrons normally remain fixed in the nucleus. But sometimes electrons in few items are loosely held. Electrons are loosely held means they can run away from the atom? Yes. In few things, they can jump from one atom to another atom. Oh, if an atom loses an electron, it will have more protons than electrons. So, it will not be neutral, it will have more positive charge. <laughs> you are a genius. That is the most important point to understand. Look guys, look here carefully. When an atom loses electron, it has more protons than electrons. So, there is more positive charge than negative charge because the number of protons are more. Oh, I've read about this somewhere. It is called a cation. Yes, you are right. A positively charged atom is called cation. Now, let's see something opposite. When an atom gains an electron, there are more negative charges and less positive charges. So, atom becomes negatively charged. It has more electrons than protons. <laughs> you are right. An atom having more electrons than protons is called anion. Okay, let's play a game to understand it better. Wow, look at these balls. Yeah, let's assume these are protons and electrons. Oh yes, balls with positive sign are protons and balls with negative sign are electrons. Take two electrons and two protons and assume we both are atoms. So now I'm neutral. I have two electrons and two protons. Even I am neutral. I also have two positive charges and two negative charges. Okay, let me give you one electron. Oh, now I have one extra electron. So, I have more negative charges. So, what have you now become if you have more electrons than protons? Oh, I am an iron. I am an iron. <laughs> Hold on, tell my name. Oh, you have two positive and one negative. So you are positively charged. You are a cation. And yes, as we are oppositely charged, we attract each other. So guys, now you understand. Laws of chemical combination. Whenever substances react, they follow certain laws. These laws are called the laws of chemical combination. There are three important laws of chemical combination called the law of conservation of mass, law of constant proportions and the law of multiple proportions. These laws led to Dalton's atomic theory 
of matter. Law of Conservation of Mass This law states that in every chemical reaction, the total mass before and after the reaction remains constant. Law of Constant Composition or Law of Definite Proportion According to the law of constant composition, a chemical compound always consists of the same elements combined together in the same proportion by mass. This means that whatever may be the source from which a compound is obtained, it is always made up of the same elements in the same mass percentage. This can be explained by an example. Water is a compound. If we decompose 100 grams of pure water by passing electricity through it, then approximately 11 grams of hydrogen and 89 grams of oxygen are obtained. If we repeat this experiment by taking pure water from different sources like river, sea, well, etc., the same weights of hydrogen and oxygen elements are obtained in every case. This shows that water always contains the same two elements, hydrogen and oxygen, combined in the same proportion, 1 is to 8 by weight. Law of Multiple Proportions When two elements combine to form more than one compound, then the mass of one of the elements combining with a fixed mass of the other bears a simple whole number ratio.